Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. And thanks to the few Patreons that I do have that believe in me and help support this channel. Much appreciated. And as a Patreon, you have access to exclusive Patreon reviews. And uh, I try to do one or two a month, and they just build up in the archives. And remember, folks, it's just whiskey. Today, we are going to be reviewing for the first time of, from, on my channel a Bal Blair. Bal Blair Core Range 12 year old. If you're looking at this bottle, it's uh, a little bit bigger than you might see here in the United States. This is a one liter bottle, which I bought as a uh, an add-on to a UK order a while back. And so in the UK, this one liter was about 45 pounds, which is about $56. Comparatively, in America, the um, Bob Lear comes in 750 milliliter, and it retails for about $65 in my area. Bell Blair 12 year old, 46% ABV, non chill filtered, no coloring added. It's a Highland single malt that's matured for the whole 12 years in ex bourbon casks and then what they call um, double fired ex bourbon casks. So, um, recharred is kind of what I get out of that um so recharge cast along with ex bourbon they don't say whether it's first fill or second fill probably a little bit of everything in there um but it's ex bourbon this particular bottle was bottled um on february 4th 2020 uh and a cool thing about bob blair is everything that they do is matured in their own earth floor dunnage warehouses. So they call this the oldest working distillery in the Highlands. Okay, so there's so many claims that are like, who's the oldest working, oldest, whatever, but they've been around a long time. Um, so yeah, um, so we're going to be getting right into this whole review. Um, I'm really enjoying this. It's it is a little bit different. Um, Ralphie raves about this. Ralphie really digs this uh, this Balbler twelve year old. Um, whereas uh, I believe Roy from Aquaviti, eh, it's quite it's I don't think it's really his jam um, as as much as uh, as Ralphie really likes it. And of course Balbler has a fifteen year old which is finished in Olorosa sherry casks. Um, so I'm guessing, you know, if it's 15 years old, probably at least 12, 13 of those years, ex-bourbon, with a maybe, I'm just guessing, maybe a two or three year uh, ex-sherry maturation. I have not tried the Balbla 15 year old. So, um, all right. I think that covers just about all the, uh, the nerdy stuff. So on the nose, right away, it's, it's rich. And this is a butterscotch bomb. It reminds me a little bit too when I um, of I have a, a Black Adder Inchgower single cask ex bourbon, and that is a butterscotch bomb. So this is definitely a, a a nice butterscotch bomb. It's also too. It reminds me a little bit of Brook Lottie's Beer Bali. So it has a little bit of that beer bali like that little bit of vegetal funk in there as well just a little bit a little bit of melon a little bit of lemon mm, very rich and deep on the nose a lot, it's the nose offers a lot of uh, inviting complexities
great mouthfeel. Fantastic texture. Viscous. Sweet. Sour. Bitter. Astringent. Oak tannins. Peppery spice. And these are all like yin and yang. And But that... There's a, a, a light sweetness, a pleasant sweetness that that runs through all those threads. The finish is a, a medium long finish, leaning more towards long, um, leaving you with a, a dry, astringent, with a, a lingering sweet bitterness, um, which really just stays on your palate. Um, Everything is very well uh, incorporated in this, very well intertwined, um, very well balanced. Um, and for your ex-bourbon lovers out there, I mean, this is, so now I know what the, what the Bal Blair distillate tastes like. Um, but it does remind me a little bit of uh, that Inchgauer uh, ex-bourbon, that butterscotch. And to the old Pulteney 12-year-old, even though the old Pulteney 12-year-old is 40%, it's a bit of a watered down butterscotch bomb. But this offers some really nice complexities. Yeah, I, I'm really, really enjoying this. Mm. If you like Brook Laddie Beer Bali, if you like Inchgawa, if you like Old Potently 12 year old, if you like butterscotch, it's also um, maybe a little bit of lemon in there, and maybe even a little bit of cocoa. Um, yeah, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of cocoa. Hmm. Um, yeah, this is a solid eight out of ten, which is uh, eight out of it. It's that means it's excellent, something special, um, and I think it's it's priced very nice. You know, comparatively, uh, Craig Gallagher, thirteen-year-old, I can still find for fifty to fifty-five dollars. Uh, even Kleinleach, fourteen-year-old, I can still find for fifty to sixty dollars. Believe it or not. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, uh, I'm I'm digging this, and if you like what I described, I think it's a reasonable price to pay for a high quality uh, offering in my opinion um, so there you go if you like today's review give it a thumbs up like and subscribe consider becoming a patreon with the link in the description below and remember folks it's just whiskey hats off to you all and take care folks <laughs>